The way we play football under Mikel Arteta is just beautiful. The amount of rotations between players in both the attacking phases but also out of possession makes it so hard for the opposition to stop us. To the point where other fans are watching their team and looking at Arteta's Arsenal as something they want their team to be in the future. Today I'm going to be looking into the secret formula for Arteta's success. But before I begin, I'd like to just ask if you can please like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this. When we think of secret formulas, you may look at Manchester City and say they like to slow down the game, having an element of control which slowly kills off the opposition as they go searching for the ball. With Klopp's Liverpool, it's all about heavy metal football, pressing the opposition, suffocating them in their own third, ensuring they have no space to breathe. This can often lead to high scoring games for Klopp's men, something which is attractive to the neutral. However, for Arteta, it's all about control, but then also being quick once we have that ball. People say it's almost a mix of Liverpool and Manchester City, and this goal against Liverpool proves that point. Against one of the best teams in the Premier League this season, the way we shift the ball from left to right is just so pleasing on the eye. Everybody is involved. Even when Liverpool try and suffocate us with their press, it simply doesn't work for them. We can say the earlier parts of this move is very reminiscent of Manchester City and the way they suck the opposition in. Also look at the movement of Rice and Jorginho, the way they're trying to create space. Then as the ball comes to Jorginho, we see that Liverpool effect, passing the ball so quickly, bish bash bosh, and then we're in on goal. It truly is a beautiful goal and something so, so pleasing on the eye. You can't help but be in awe. Here is the structure that Arsenal go with when building from the back. We have Ben White inverting as a third centre back. Gabriel essentially goes to left centre back, leaving Saliba in the middle as the ball playing centre back. Then you have Jorginho and Rice in the pivot and they're constantly moving around, looking for opportunities to receive the ball and then take us into a quick transitional attack. Once we beat that initial press and the ball goes to Zinchenko, he's now looking for the next pass and Odegaard travels from his right centre mid position, adds an extra body into the midfield. And this is what I mean about rotations. Arteta gives his players the freedom to go into any position in the pitch. There is no real structure telling the players to stay in one specific position. The role of Havertz and Martinelli is also really important in this goal. Havertz essentially comes into a 9.5 position and Martinelli is so wide leaving Konate no choice but to follow him. Once that ball gets to Odegaard, it's wraps for Liverpool because he plays a beautiful first time ball into Havertz in that 9.5 position who's one on one with Alisson with Saka who's basically on the other side of the pit arriving on the scene to tap it in. Although Martinelli isn't directly involved in touching the ball, his role is as important as other players, leaving Konate in such a stick or twist position. Remove him and the goal doesn't happen and that's why I think Martinelli is so key to our side even if he's not contributing directly to the goal. However, that isn't what I think Mikel Arteta's secret formula is. The beautiful patterns of play and the beautiful defensive positions that we take up, preventing the opposition from defeating us, is really good. But there's something before that, even before we've even got onto the pitch, that makes Arteta so, so good. And it's a trait that not every single manager has. The Amazon documentary showed that Mikel Arteta is an emotional manager, somebody who kicks every single ball. And I think you can see that in his team. Every player is kicking the ball for each other, fighting to win first balls, second balls and third balls. This isn't just natural though, and it stems from the manager. Take the tweet from a couple seasons ago from Ivan Tony talking about a nice kickabout with the boys this afternoon. Arteta took that personally and put his emotions onto the players so they felt the same anger. In that first half in particular, we blitzed Brentford away. You could see the outrage and anger within the players to go and get a result and avenge for whatever nonsense Tony put earlier in the season. This may seem easy, but it's not hard to get a group of players to feel the same way you do as a manager. Arteta has this beautiful thing where he's almost poetic in the way he speaks to the players, making them feel certain scenarios which can be easily translated onto the pitch. The Amazon documentary was a perfect illustration of this. He uses his emotional nature to bring the players together and fight on and off the pitch. The idea of togetherness is very much evident with Stuart McFarlane, our club photographer. 
in the Amazon documentary, he was involved on Derby Day to make sure the players were pumped up. Arteta ensures to link the club photographer, the fans, the staff all together. He's essentially the people's person. Although rival fans get really rattled by the way Arteta brings in different people to be involved with the team, I think it's so so crucial to our success. And without it, I don't think we'd be as good as we are right now. Arteta himself is a family man, he values his family. Which makes sense why he's so obsessed with bringing everybody together. When you have somebody that values the most important things in life such as family, you can't help as players or as fans or as staff but to get behind them and follow the philosophy they want. His whole persona just fits this football club so so well. I'm going to use Chicken Ball FC's manager as an example. He has admitted that he's not the sort of manager that can be approached by a player and given love and hugging them and all of this sort of stuff that we see from Arteta. He's all about getting his message across and making sure the results and the way his team plays relates to his own philosophy. Although short term this hasn't been a bad approach from him and his team are doing relatively well in 5th place albeit behind the Gunners as usual. In order to have a club that's really successful, togetherness is vital. We as Arsenal fans have seen the harsh side of Arteta when he got rid of the likes of Ozil, Socrates, Mustafi and all of those players. You can tell some of those decisions were emotionally hard for Arteta to make. But he knew he had a long term vision that eventually he'll bring connect and love between the fans, the players and the staff. The love we wanted him to show towards Ozil is now being shown to the other players in our current squad and it's been so so successful. We now find ourselves qualifying for the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the first time in 14 years. Although we played some beautiful football in Wenger's late era, the love just wasn't felt and this translated to our poor finishes in the Premier League before Wenger left. Now we are blessed to have a team that's loving with passion and plays beautiful football whilst competing on the biggest stages and for the biggest trophies. It really is a matter of time before Arteta wins his first major trophy and more respect will be shown to him by the masses. People will be quick to look at the football and style of play and the way he has us so defensively solid but brilliant in the attacking phases too, as reasons for our successes. But I want you as Arsenal fans to recognise that Mikel Arteta's secret to success is more to do with the behind the scenes and connection of the players, the club and the staff. This togetherness then translates on the pitch to the beautiful football we play. This secret formula isn't something that every club has, so we as Arsenal fans need to appreciate what Arteta has done. Anyway that's it for now Gunners, hope you enjoyed the video and please leave a thumbs up if you did. Peace.